Hello, I hope you're all doing well. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Zeta, and today I thought I'd just kind of run you guys through a few things that I've like picked up and acquired in like the past, I want to say like two months-ish. Yeah, let's just get into it. And I've been trying really hard the past few years to kind of cut down on my um, consumption of new pieces and try to buy, um, I guess, either more sustainable or secondhand. I did go a little bit crazy on Book Depository lately just because they have free shipping and your girl loves books. First of all, um, I picked this one up. I'm actually quite obsessed with this one. Um, it's the French Market Cookbook and it's all vegetarian, which I feel like is quite um, hard to come by. They're either like omnivorous or vegan. I have a whole bunch of vegan cookbooks, but it's kind of nice to have something vegetarian. A little shameless plug to myself, if you're not following um, my food Instagram already, you should. So next I picked up um, Selected Poems by T.S. Eliot. He's actually been my favorite poet since I was like 12, I want to say. My favorite poem is, I feel like it's quite an overrated poem just because everyone knows it, but I really like the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. I think it's the most flawless depiction of the modern condition. This is actually a gift from my friend Gino for my birthday, which was so kind. There are just short poems that are quite fun and I really like the, the font and the setting out, how they're all in columns. My favorite one so far is actually Good Spiders. Um, it just says, when I was a little kid, another little kid told me that if I poured water down a tarantula hole, I could get him to come out. So I did, and he did, and bit me. Since then, spiders have not been among my favorite things. This one is also another one. I have bought so many books. You've probably seen me rave about this film on Instagram. Um, I watched this on Netflix recently, um, the adaptation by Charlie Kaufman, and I absolutely loved it, but it was a lot to unpack. It was very surrealist, and I'm really keen to get um, stuck into this one soon. Another poetry book. This is actually my favorite book of poems ever. I had this copy a year ago and then I lost it again. So I repurchased this. This is The Essential Bukowski. I ripped through this one so quickly last year. My favorite one is definitely um, We Ain't Got No Money Honey, But We Got Rain. It's quite long. I would recommend you check it out. They're all available online too. But it's kind of about um, a euphemistic kid's view of the Great Depression. I'm actually in the middle of this one right now. I'm almost done. This is actually a gift from my boyfriend, um, who's a chef, <laughs> and it's Anthony Bourdain's Kitchen Confidential. It's kind of just like a whole lot of stories from Anthony Bourdain's earlier days and working in the kitchen. I love the way that he writes. It's all very like boyish and playful, I'd like to say, very silly. And they're full of little like annotations that he's done, um, which I think is super fun. And finally, last book. I also bought this one because Pablo Neruda is a poet that I've been meaning to get more into lately. It's called 20 Love Poems and a Song of Despair. I'm not a huge fan of this translator friend to be honest. He really doesn't do justice to the beautiful concepts. The themes are quite beautiful. The words that I use are just not quite there. I have been consuming a lot of wine lately, way more than I should. Um, and these are a few highlights from the past little bit. I got this one for my birthday from Cray. I'm really not a red wine drinker usually, but this was very light and very, very drinkable. This one was a huge highlight of um, the month of September. It's Le Tambre. I'm pretty sure it's a Riesling. It's a really, really tasty white. It's very fresh, very fruity, very crisp. I love this one. This one was an incredible purchase. Um, I really didn't think I'd ever stumble upon a bottle of Zabibo by Brash Higgins. This is probably one of my favorite wines of all time. It's got such a long name that I can never pronounce, but um, the front just says Morion. I really like this label too. It's from Austria, but I have no idea what any of these words mean. Super funky, super acidic, heaps of fun. Just a really, really fun drink. If you find this 200%, you should buy it. This one was kind of um, a random purchase that I found at my local wine store. Also really, really nice. I love Gavard Stramino. This was my first Australian one that I actually enjoyed. Genuinely the cleanest wine I've ever had in my entire life. And finally, I actually finished this bottle last night. Um, it's El Pinko by Kerbal Ridge. I would give it a solid maybe 8 out of 10. 
I didn't think it was um, the best rosé I'd ever had, but um, it was definitely a good one. My friend Tara, who I've known for quite a long time, I'd like to say quite a few years, um, very recently during lockdown started doing digital art and her art is absolutely incredible. I bought these two prints of her, I think they're sample prints. But um, yeah, look, how incredible are these? Crazy. I can't wait to get them into proper frames. Also, when I was in Sydney recently, I met up with my friend and probably my favorite artist in Australia at the moment. He gifted me um, some drawings. So these are by Ben. I'll also link his Instagram down below. I'm absolutely in awe of this one. It's incredible. It's like messy brushwork, very beautiful black and white. And then finally this um, felt tip drawing, which I also think is really lovely. Recently, um, my friend Jordan opened up kind of like an online archive store called Placeholder Shop and it's got some really amazing things from the pop-up that he had recently. I bought this Issy jacket. It's like a vintage pleats pleats, um, pleated, I want to say dark brown, dark khaki, not quite black. It's really, really beautiful. It's got a really nice boxy fit. I love it. I don't know why this is inside out actually. It's like distressed, ripped up, dark brown t-shirt, super oversized, and it says hail to the thief. I got this skirt recently from Staatsballet. I love that she has such an emphasis on sustainability and ethics with production and how they use dead stock fabrics. Brown wax poplin skirt from their recent collection. It's just like a, a long, really comfy, lightweight brown skirt. Also from Staatsballet, Kaylee was nice enough to um, gift me a few pieces when I did the Instagram story takeover. She gifted me this the trail offerings necklace, which I've wanted for the longest time. They're really fun to layer, especially with this other necklace from Staatsballet. This is the bunny necklace and the length is so much shorter than the other one, so it's really, really fun to layer. And I love the little bunny charm on it, it's so cute. I also really love these um, hoop earrings. They were also a gift from um, Staatsballet. And they're just these really, really, really simple, minimal, um, but really nice um, earrings. And they really add like a very subtle touch to your outfit. So recently um, from Heroin, I bought this um, wool Ralph Lauren skirt. It really needs tailoring because the hem's actually completely fallen apart. So I graduated earlier this year and as a graduation gift, I thought I'd spoil myself. This is actually, I think the second brand new item I've bought all of this year, but they're these gorgeous um, red Valentino heeled boots. I've been wearing them all day. They're super, super comfy. I recently downloaded Depop and the first thing I bought was the sweater vest. I think I'm actually doing a sweater vest styling video sometime in the near future, but um, this is just this cable net beige sweater vest. I don't know if I can say that I bought this because I actually stole it from my dad's wardrobe recently. This work shirt and it's got, I really like these like very stiff, very starchy white collars. It reminds me of that scene in Gossip Girl when um, Serena and Nate finally start dating and she comes out of his bedroom one morning wearing his like huge blue like button up dress shirt and I think it's such a look. <laughs> finally, um, this was actually um, gifted to my mom and then she decided it was too young looking for her so she gave it to me and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. A little chain crossbody bag um, with little Dior charms on it. The chain's detachable so it's really nice for like a little evening clutch but also really nice just to wear over your shoulder as a very casual but put together polished daytime bag. I bought this perfume recently. I've been really, really needing a new summer scent and um, I picked up Penn Halligans and Demian recently and it really reminds me of Blake Lively when she was in A Simple Favor because she wears a lot of these like almost like masculine cut work shirts but she has a very sexy edge to them. This is exactly what the scent reminds me of and I've been really liking this for the warmer weather. I've also acquired this necklace that I'm wearing recently. It was a birthday gift from my boyfriend and it's so beautiful, I love it. It's just this little safety pin with a tiny little bead on it and I'm not sure where it's from but I've been wearing it heaps and it's a very nice delicate silver piece just for the collarbones. Also a huge shout out to one of my dearest friends from London, Rory, 
who has made the music for this video. I will link all of his um, socials in the, what do you call it again? Description and you should definitely check out his Instagram, Spotify, SoundCloud, all of that. And so let me know in the comments below what you think and what kind of stuff you want to see more in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, I guess.